Hey, I finally got one on camera. Oh, that's great. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Uh, or should I say, Okamui? Nailed it. We are just at the beginning of our journey through the frozen north of Kamui, where there's sure some extreme weather going on here in Kamui. Just in Kamui. Nowhere else. These new enemies are Namahages. Nowhere near as intimidating as the ones from Neo, and uh, their floral finish is the Gale Storm, which we all remember is a very powerful hurricane like wind. So, you know how I have the big tornado phobia? Uh, well, the remnants of the recent hurricane combined with. I guess another storm system, uh, and the northeast of the U.S. just had a once-in-a-century storm that resulted in actually quite a few tornadoes. Lucky me. Uh, and also caused a ridiculous amount of flooding. And by that, I mean the New York City subway system is currently a shallow river, and last night... I found a video of a man kayaking down the street on the New Jersey subreddit. Um, thankfully I'm okay, and my friends and family are all fine. The worst that happened to me is that we got a small leak in the basement, and I got shaken up because of the phobia. But it really has been a pretty big shock and incredibly harmful, so I'm gonna put a link to donate to the South Jersey Mutual Aid Network in the description. Uh, if you're able to throw a few bucks their way, they are currently helping people recover from the damage and stabilize, but if you aren't in the steadiest financial position yourself, please don't feel obligated to do so. And I think now that we've met this fellow, who's immediately drawn a sword on us because a strange wolf wandered into his house, to be fair. Uh, we're going to steer this back onto the plot. Isun is finally catching up. You? Isun seems to recognize them. That's great. Hold the sword, circle towards the door, escape. His sword, his sword is a bona fide masterpiece, according to Isin. Uh, and we may as well make sure that we get some value out of coming in here. It's better than nothing what we got. Oh, he just wanted a larger space to fight us in. Looks like he means business. So who is this? And why do they take... Amaterasu so seriously? So immediately, we go right into it. Uh, and you might recognize this from... Oops! I think I hit the wrong part. From Waka. Uh, and this fight has a lot of similarities to Waka, although not completely identical. This, though, also like Waka, you deflect them. Oop! Didn't get all of them, but it'll stun him. We can power slash him, get some good damage in that way. Since I don't actually have uh, the current glaive upgraded with gold dust, because I haven't come across any in a bit. Uh, that's going to do a hefty chunk for us. And then most of his attacks, especially anything that's glowing blue, has a tendency to freeze you. That should be good enough. 
One, two. Maybe one more charged hit. But I was a little bit greedy. And now... If the human form was a little Waka, this is a little more like the Canine Warriors, but again, with its own twist. And honestly, a fairly intense fight. Oh, and you can see the, uh, the damage disparity coming into play against this form. I might be switching back to the Rosary. I mean, the Rosary is just naturally very powerful, but it's also upgraded, as opposed to this one. Uh, I'll leave it on as my sub, though. We could still get some pretty cool, uh, some pretty good use out of it that way. Because as the sub, you get to do that. You get the Stinger. Uh, that wasn't a great position to freeze him in. We'll get some hits off, though. Oh, good. Now these clones, they only take a couple of hits, but they have, uh, they have the wolf's exact moveset. But, when you destroy them, you get some health back. At some point, I'm just going to start ignoring them. We might still be a little ways away from being able to do that. Just over a quarter of his health left. This should be good damage, though. No, get down here. Okay, good. If we could stun him again, that would be great. Good damage and a power slash. It's kind of absurd just how powerful the Rosary is for its range and its ability to just do multi-hitting stun. So, who is this dog? This dogman? Not bad, white one. I am Oki, warrior of the Oina tribe. You are obviously not of our tribe. And I can see that you're no mere wolf either. What name do you go by? This here is Amaterasu, the great savior of Nippon. But enough about that, why'd you have to go attack us? And what are you doing with that sword in the first place? Yeah, it is quite a fancy sword. Oh, I see you have a punkle with you. Ponsel? Punkle? Wait, is that Eason? They do know each other. I haven't seen you around in ages. Must be nice to be able to roam Nippon on the back of a wolf. I heard you got tired of painting and ran from this land in disgust about a year ago. So why'd you come back? Did you have a second thoughts? Why you? I don't know who you two think you are, but you're nothing like the legendary Shiranui and the pint-sized warrior. Put a cork in it, will ya? Why don't you start by telling us why you have that sword? This sword? I have this sword because the time to wield it has come. What? As you well know, Kamui is a harsh land covered in snow and ice. And the monsters that infest the region only make our life worse. Yet we, the Oina tribe, have managed to survive to this day. It's because the sacred Izafuji Mountains have watched over us. However, our mothers and protectors, our most sacred of mountains, 
have been taken over by those demons. Yes, I speak of the twin demons Lechku and Nechku. Those are fun names to say. They had been imprisoned at the twin summits of Izafuji, but they suddenly broke free one day and began their deadly assault upon the land of Kamui. The snowstorms grew more intense, transforming Kamui into a frozen wasteland. Those demons are back? Many of our tribe have been killed by their relentless attacks. It was as if they roamed our land in search of something. But they mercilessly slaughtered all the Oina they came across. The good earth is losing its power and its soul. Without these gifts of the gods, Kamui will become uninhabitable. I must slay those wretched demons now, before it's too late. What about the villagers? What about them? They should be battling the cold that blasts down from Izafuji. Wait, is that they should as in they ought to, or is in I reckon that's what they're doing? After all, our village lies at the base of the mountain. It's only a matter of time before Kamui becomes an icy tomb. Oh, okay. That clarifies it. An icy tomb? What? Then what are you doing about... What are you doing out here with that guardian sword? Why'd you bring it out of the village? Did I not say the time to use the sword has come? You've heard of the prophecy of salvation, have you not? The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens. When Katone, the guardian sword, glows silver. It means that when this sword glows silver, ridding the village of this abominable blizzard will be child's play. The sword's gonna start glowing? Yes. It's his guiding moonlight, his true mentor. Yes, but Katone will not wake until it has tasted more monster blood. Always a good sign. Love blood packs with swords. Until Katone lights our way to victory. That actually didn't take as long as I thought it did. I guess they give you a lot more time, a lot more allowance to uh, take your time in that fight. And of course, to be Bloomin', you turn him back to dog mode. It appears the blizzard has lightened a bit. I know not when the demons will launch another terrible blizzard, but now would be your best chance to flee to the village. Can't believe the chief let you take that sword. I mean, Tam, my hide wants just for touching the darn thing. Yeah, it's Eason's village we're gonna visit. I already told you the time to wield it has come. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens. When Katone, the... What is it? Guardian sword glows silver. <laughs> I already told you this, God. Means that when this sword glows silver, ridding the village of uh, the demons that cause the blizzard will be nothing. It'll be child's play. I already told you this, God. <laughs> Why don't you ever listen to me, Isun? <laughs> oh my god, it's... Yoichi. And once again, shooting arrows into the sky, in defiance of God. You're that Master Bowman, the apple guy. What are you doing all the way out here? In this nasty blizzard. Well, you know, the usual, just shooting arrows aimlessly. <laughs> I've come to realize something's been setting off on my travels. It's my bow. It seems to bring about misfortune. Oh, his bow's cursed. That's obvious. Obviously. I should have known. So I decided to go far away where I couldn't cause any trouble. What do you know? I end up all the way up here in the north. Okay. 
Anyway, Poochie, why not have a bite? Okay. A bit frozen. Very tasty, though. Thank you. Let's just electrify that arrow. And continue Yoichi's curse. Oh, hey, it's Guardian Sapling. What the? Now my arrows bring on thunder? This cannot be coincidence. It doesn't seem like a curse either. It must be fate. This has to be a sign from the gods. It's my destiny to live and die with my arrows. Yeah? All this time, I've been saying I wanted to do big things. But I was really just traveling so I could have an easy life. It seems like there are easier ways to have an easy life, though. Now I see there's no such thing as an easy path. Not when you devote yourself to mastering one thing. The gods have shown me my true path. The path of archery! Yes, you were chosen by God. Kind of. I mean, he very literally was chosen by God, by a God, to do something. In a way, Yoichi is a chosen one. It's only when you two are around that the gods show their hand. I'll never forget both of you. If we ever meet again, let's share a few apples together. I like Yoichi. Farewell, my friends. And there is something so funny about the fact that this really is just coincidence. And maybe a little bit of Amaterasu messing with him? <laughs> just playing around, really. And he interprets this as, like, a divine signal. Rather than Ami being a playful wolf. <laughs> but at the same time, he did something genuinely very helpful. Yoichi's the best. He's devoted himself to one thing that he absolutely loves. And that's a large amount of praise that we just got in the past minute and a half or so. 50 from Yoichi, 50 from Blooming the Tree. Let's see. Kamui is not as large as, say, Shinshu Field. Um, in fact, I think it's one of the smaller, if not the smallest, hub. Uh, but there's a lot packed in here. A, a good deal of which is new animals to feed, which I haven't been doing much anyway. Instead of bringing back all the, all the lush, verdant greenery... We're still... crusted over with snow and ice, so... It just spawns a bunch of animals in to liven things up. And this must be Yoichi's place, single-minded. Uh, there are a couple of things that I want to do just out in Kamui proper before we head into the village. And there first, or... The problem is I don't actually remember where the thing that I'm looking for is is it's on one end or the other. Uh, but this is towards progress, obviously. Because we have... Uh, what is your name? You're the Igloo something. Igloo turtle? Is that it? It's something fairly simple like that. And the whole idea is that eventually he's going to use his tail to create a little gout of flame. And then we're going to use that flame to melt the shell and actually be able to do some damage. All right. Oh? Am I misremembering this? Or do I have to do it like a couple times? Or do I have to hit the inside part and catch that on fire? I swear I thought you just drew a line between the fire and the shell. What am I misremembering? 
can't believe I might have to use the healing item. Did that? Oh my god! I feel that that is kind of unintuitive. Oh, so we have to hit him enough to stun him first, and then we can set the shell on fire, and then do damage? I don't even remember where or what the items are. Uh, no, no. What the hell am I even looking? Oh, okay. Dog bone. Dog tree. Alright, now, Igloo Turtle. Oh, you're still just gonna be annoying, aren't you? <laughs> of course. Get down, please. Just get on... Just go on the floor, sir. Sir, this is terrible customer service. Okay, there we go. And now... Well, that's a hit. This is what I think of that fight. Onwards... Towards this sad child? Oh no, it's just a merchant. Oh, there's a sad child in the other direction, though. Do you have... Gold dust? That's the one thing that I want from you, sir. I like the mask, though. If you sell that, I will also take it. No, you you don't sell anything that I'm remotely interested in. I have so much money and nothing to spend it on right now. By the end of this, I'll... probably go through most of what I have on hand, though. I'm just being a little indecisive. Yeah, no, I'm gonna commit to doing this first, which I think is... Yeah. Ume and Kahari. Kakari. Remember we? We played together back in Nagata. Kakari, is that you? How'd you get all the way out here? Ume does not look like he's having a good time. I took my dad's fishing pole and set out on an epic journey. Okay. You know, I like the river, but it's nothing like the vast sea. It makes me realize just how insignificant my life was. Kakari, you're like five! You can't have this existential angst yet! Now that I think about it, you look more grown up too. You really think so? I've seen a lot of Nippon's great outdoors, but the vast icy sea of Kamui is a far harsher environment than anywhere else. Where are your parents? <laughs> Maybe I can become a real man like Susano. Somebody adopt this child. For his own good. Is Ume technically his parent now? Ume's not doing a great job of parenting. And finally, Lugu's here. Greetings, my little wolf friend. Onigiri Sensei has come back for the third time. Uh, and this time around, we're gonna clear him out. <laughs> I have a lot of yen on me. Do you once again seek my tutelage? Yeah, what do we have left over? Break hard objects by tackling, holy falcon, counter dodge. That is something that I would like. And then I think we also have all of our remaining glaive techniques, like the extra hit on the combo. Uh, when you have only glaives equipped as both main and sub, yeah, damage boost, we get the same thing for the rosaries, actually. We can make them even more powerful. Uh, and... I think that's gonna do it for now. I'm gonna clear them out off screen. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.